In this video I'm going to replace the pressure switch on this Candy Grando washing machine. Before we do anything we're going to switch off the machine and unplug it and then we're going to carefully remove it ensuring that we don't pull on any of the pipes at the back. In order to get the correct spare part for your machine you will need the model number and serial number of the machine. This can often be found by opening the door. We now need to remove these hexagon head screws. To do that I'm going to use this socket in a cordless drill. So we need to select reverse and then we can simply spin those three out. We then need to grab the top of the machine and pull that back. And then just pull out the wooden top. This can cause several errors or several problems with the machine and it's not always easy to identify the problem. I'm no expert on diagnosing faults with washing machines but we've actually tried blowing down the pipe which goes to the bottom of the drum and that's not worked. So the next course of action is to change the pressure switch. This one actually cost about £20 delivered. That's the pressure switch just there and this tube that's connected to it actually leads to the bottom of the drum. When the drum is filled with water it will increase the air pressure in the tube which will make the switch work. Before we go any further it's a good idea to take a picture of it using a phone so that you know where the wires go and in order to remove the pressure switch we need to remove that Phillips screw just down there but it's very difficult because the screw has a tendency to drop off so I'm going to put a neodymium magnet on the end of the driver there and then that will prevent the screw from falling into the machine so I've now got the screw and we can now pull the pressure switch up you can get spare parts from your local appliance repair shop or you can get them online from websites like eSpurs etc. All we need to do with this one is press down on that and then we can simply pull that off the pressure switch and then we can take the new pressure switch and plug that directly into it. So the electrical connections can't get much easier than that. You can do me a massive favour by clicking the subscribe button then the bell icon to receive notifications. If you can also like and share the video that would be fantastic as it really helps me out. Now all we need to do is take a pair of pliers and just press on that clip there at the end and we can just slide that down the tube and then we can pull the pressure switch away from the tube. If you are having problems that you think are related to the pressure switch it's always a good idea to blow down that tube to ensure that it's not blocked. You can blow down this quite hard and it won't actually do any damage. So now we've done that we can then push the tube onto the new pressure switch. We then simply need to take the pliers again squeeze on the clip and pull that up into position and it's actually difficult doing this so I'm just going to magnetise the end of the driver if you do have a magnetic screwdriver it does make this job a lot easier so we can now put the pressure switch back in position and replace the screw That's how easy it is to replace the pressure switch. It really is very easy. It takes approximately five minutes. To then replace the lid, that simply slides back into position. And then we can replace this piece at the back. We're now going to replace the screws that I took out earlier. 
So I'm going to put the drill onto a very low torque and I'm just going to use this to replace the three screws. You can now plug the machine back in and switch it on and hopefully your machine will be as good as new. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.